Welcome back to Pray for Our Youth Ministries Incorporated. We're going to continue with Lesson 5 of Young Women Need to Step Up and Fight Back. But, okay. First, the Lord has placed in my heart very strong to share with you uh, those of you that are listening, is that I've been talking about young young women. Which how you feel about yourself again means a whole lot. And I'm gonna stress this. Just because you may be in a certain situation in your life that's may seem abnormal to other people. You had your, you had different setbacks. Rather it may be that you were maybe you were divorced and now you're young and single and you have some children or either you know either situation where you were pregnant or uh, not married or whatever. Or you're just a young woman that don't never really looked at yourself as either, either being worthy or never look at yourself as really being someone special. I, I want to caution you on that because God is not a man that he should lie. God is real. And God, in due season, God will send someone for you that will respect you. But the, again, the key thing is how you perceive yourself. You can push away someone that really care about you. And you don't want to do that. If you were married, you're a young woman, you're married, you, you've gotten divorced, and maybe the, the man before was a certain way, you got to ask God to help you not to look at every man in the same way. Just like a, a, a male, the same. If he had a bad relationship, if he's going to look at every young lady the same way, you're going to have problems. So you have to ask God to help you not to look at everyone the same way. Because you, because when God sends someone for you, you want to be ready, you want to be prepared. You don't want to rush into anything, but you want to be prepared. You, you want to, how do you get prepared? By getting as close to Jesus Christ as possible. By asking God to help you work on every issue you may have prior to God send that person for you. Now, I believe self-respect is important to everyone, but it's very, I believe it's vitally, it's vitally important to a young woman. When you fail to respect yourself, you're given an avenue or path for other people to disrespect you as well. The way you talk to yourself and others is an announcement of how you feel about yourself. The way you allow people to talk to you, the, the way you allow people to talk about you and treat you, is also another path for people to abuse you. When you believe that you don't deserve to be heard, then you're actually belittling yourself and, and again, other people will follow that path. They will begin to, if you talk, when you talk, you talk, let's say for instance, you're a young lady, you say, well, I don't know a whole lot or whatever, and, and I don't, I don't plan to be real bright or whatever. I'm the same thing that I'm talking to yourself. A lot of people hear that, they'll begin to talk to you the same way, and they'll begin to make you feel like uh, your conversation and what you have to say is not important. So you have to be very careful not to give people avenue in, in which you mistreat you. Self-respect has to be earned. And once it's earned, you want to do the best you can to maintain it. If you should lose it, in some respect, you can still build, be, be built back up to God's Word and gain that self-respect. 
Now, in St. Matthew chapter 8, verse 36, Jesus posed a question to the disciples. He said, What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Don't get so caught up into, into what you want all the time. As a young woman, don't, you know, don't get so caught up into what you want. You can become so caught up into what you want that when you meet the individual that God sent for you, your selfishness will cause, your selfishness itself may cause you to push, push him away. And don't fall in love with the thing of the world. Don't be so materialistic. Yes, you as a young woman, you want to look nice, you want to dress nice, you want to have good clothes, you want to have a nice car and all these things, but don't let that be your God. Be more concerned about your soul, your self, your soul, where you're going to spend eternity. That should be a higher concern. Also, young, young sisters, you should, you should, as a young lady, you should write out your vision. You should have a vision for your life and you should write it out. When you write out your vision, it's a sign that you're preparing to do something with your life. If you say you're going to get married, then what you want to do is that that's part of your vision. Then what you begin to do, you begin to ask God to help you, help you know more about yourself. Ask God to help you to become better in areas that you know you're weak in. And then ask God to reveal to you in other areas that you're weak in and help you become better as well. Even though life does bring some setbacks, you need a vision. Don't just throw in the towel because things are... We are hard sometimes. Don't that's, that's no reason to throw in the towel. Write out your game plan and pray of it. Young lady, you need to have a vision. Have a vision for yourself and, 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 and seek God for a vision and pray of it and nourish your vision. The scripture is Habakkuk chapter two, verse two. Now, first Corinthians eighteen, nineteen and twenty said, flee from sexual immorality. All other sins a man commit are outside his body. But he who commits sexual sins sins against his body. Verse 19, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Who is in you, though you are saved and have the Holy Ghost? Whom you have received from God. You are not your own. You are brought with a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. Honor God with your body, young lady. Honor God with your body. Now, I believe that some young ladies that are going to listen to this video are probably not going to be saved. So we're going to exchange the opportunity right now. Here's how personal Jesus is getting with you. Jesus loves you and wants to help you. If you're not saved, your help will begin by getting saved. In Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock at your heart. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and stop with him, and he with me. This is the that's the invitation that, that that Jesus gave for man and women to be saved. If, I, if you if you listen to this video today and you're not saved, you should not pass up this opportunity. You are not guaranteed to see tomorrow. But most importantly, you need Jesus in your life to be able to deal with the, with the thing that you have to deal with in this world. You are young. If you're watching this video, you're a young man, I mean young lady, you have great potentials. The only person that can call you to throw away all your potentials, young lady, is you. And don't be stubborn. Don't say, who do you think he is? Who, who are you trying to tell me something? No. Listen to the word. Take heed to the word. Apply it to your life. And God will bring changes in your life. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. It, it's the Roman, Roman road to salvation. Now, listen, listen to this. Maybe you have never made a commitment to live, to live saved. You may have thought about it, 
Let's make that bold step, young lady, and let Jesus become the Savior in your life. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has rose him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So, so if, you are, if you are tired of running and trying to do things on your own and you want Jesus to become in your life and be the Savior of your life, I just want you to repeat some words after me, of either this word of faith, Lord Jesus, I realize that I'm a sinner, bound for hell, and I need to be saved. Lord Jesus, I do believe in my heart that God has rose you from the dead. I confess with my mouth, Lord Jesus, I'm asking you right now to come into my heart and be the Savior of my life. And Jesus, I receive salvation through your name, which is only through your name I can receive salvation. I receive salvation by faith. And I confess right now, Jesus, that by faith I am saved. Thank you, Jesus. If you are one that just received Jesus Christ, congratulations to you. You made the wisest choice. You never be a wiser choice you can make in life than to give your life to your lady to Jesus Christ. And when you give your life to Jesus Christ, now Jesus Christ can mold you and shape you into what he wants you to be. So be encouraged. Also, I want you to, I want you to repeat after me. This is what we call the confession of faith. This is just you confessing that, that bringing in the, taking out the old and bringing in the new. I'm going to go slow, and you can repeat after me. I am no longer willing to settle for just anyone coming into my life. I want to be respected, so it must begin with me respect. It must begin with my respecting God's words, and then me respecting myself. I will raise my standards as a young woman in accordance with God's word. I will use God's word to build on my self-esteem. I will not compromise with sin just to please a young man. I will save my body for marriage. I will, I will fill my, 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 head, my ear with God's word. I will no longer listen to Satan's lies. I will no longer be a prisoner to the filthy lyrics, the filthy pornography, the filthy magazines, the filthy movies, or other types of media that exploit women. I will fight the good fight of faith. I will pray that God will keep me, and I also pray for my young brothers that God will deliver them and save their soul. I will pray for all young men to step it up, to give their life to Christ, so that they can begin to be what God called them to be. I will not be critical of young men. I will not judge them, but I will pray for them. I will no longer sit idle. I will fight back as a young sister. I will have higher standards, and with God's help, I will maintain those standards. Young sisters, I say to you again, get your self-respect back. Keep it. May God continue to bless and enrich your life.